Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my studio, Bonnie's Acrylic Creations Art. And this is the 1000 Below collaboration. Karen from Waterfall Acrylics is our guest artist and I'm pretty excited about that. She has challenged us to a wandering or traveling ring pour and we must use gold, black, and white as part of our colors and two or three other colors um, along with those. So with those I've chose, this is Aza Orange by Amsterdam. This is, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put some of this in too. This is Amsterdam Turquoise Blue. And then this is a Triart uh, Phalo Turquoise. Now I'm also going to be using the Triart Phalo Turquoise thin down a little bit as my flow extender because I am going to try to get a little bit of negative space. We'll see how that works out. I have a 14 by 18 inch level two gallery wrap canvas. I was going to go bigger, but mm, I'm kind of limited on paint. So let's layer our cup and get down to the canvas. Okay, I think that this will be good. We'll go ahead and um, pour this out on the canvas and then use our flow extender. Here we go.
this is pretty interesting. I think I need to pop a bunch of bubbles. And I think I have the white back in the middle. Not sure. I will double check that. Let me wipe my hands and pop some bubbles here. All right, let's give this a few minutes and see how this develops. I think I'm getting some cells through there, so um, we'll be right back. Well, now let's come on down and take a look a little bit closer. It's mostly wet. I had neglected to bring you down while it was all just poured, but we got some little freckle pearls. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call those. Those are little ones. And, um, yeah, I like the orange with the teal and the blue. I like that look. So it almost looks like wings, doesn't it? So stay tuned, and we will um, come back to see the dried results. Okay, so here we are outside. Um, it's close to evening time, so there's not a lot of sun, but we can still see some shimmer from that gold. Yeah, well, there you go. You can see that shimmer. And I'm trying to think of the name of that flower with those orange spiky things that come out of the top. That's what that reminds me of. So um, I kind of like it. It was a challenge, serious challenge, Karen. <laughs> it totally, totally got me. It was my first one I've ever done. So anyway... Let me thank Kim from Kim's Creations. She introduced me earlier, so a big shout out to her. So stay tuned after me is Amy, Amy McKeon Art. So there you go. Lots of pretty little parts to this. But that's my favorite. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Be good. Be good to each other. And um, I'll see you in the next video.